<laughs> hello, hello everyone. Hi, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. And uh, we are here for Cricket Chat, our daily um, live Facebook show um, that we have also on Sunday. We call it Cricket Brunch. Um, and we are, we always focus on the joy when we, when we work, um, on Sunday, we do always do the joy. So if you're a joy, um, owner or you just love anything cricket, this is a great opportunity to get an idea of what we do during the week, um, every day during the week. And, um, Let's see. I wanted to welcome anybody that's new. We're going to be talking today about the Cricut Joy, but also the brand new mug press that came out a couple of days ago. And uh, I want to show you how you use it, every step of the process, how you use it and how you'd use it on the Joy. Okay, so I wanted to welcome everybody. Um, again, my name is Rita. I'm a Cricut product expert. Um, and have been uh, doing this for, well, doing the live broadcast for a year now, um, but have been a Cricut product expert for six, seven years now. Um, it's really fun. I really enjoy this job. I do have, um, hi, Anna Maria. I do have a YouTube channel. And um, if you ever want to know anything about Cricut and you want to get to know this wonderful group that we created, um, called the Cricut Chat Group. Um, you can join the YouTube channel. You can subscribe there. There's no cost, obviously. Um, and then we also have some Facebook groups, including um, Just Cricket Joy um, with Miss Rita. And then we also have a Miss Rita to the Rescue community group. Group, And you're welcome to join us there as well. So hello, everyone. Um, if you are, have been coming all along. Maybe you joined us last night for our monthly Zoom call. We had such a great time. Um, we had a theme of, thank you, Becky. We had a theme of um, spring, anything spring. So we had some pretty amazing uh, headpieces and like costumes, including uh, Dawn had a unicorn with all of these flowers that she created on her own. Then, um, and then Teresa um, had a Miss Rita to the rescue, like leprechaun hat, top hat on. And then there were a lot of different, those cat ears and I had butterfly and flower ears and hi Ruth from Calgary. Um, and so we also did a show and tell of our favorite projects and we, we got some really great ideas. In fact, some things that I'm going to bring to the show. Um, I think it was Loretta that showed us about alcohol inks and twinkle lights in um, mason jars. And I have already ordered those supplies so we can do that on on a future show and of course um uh decorate it with some really awesome vinyl cricket vinyl ideas so we're going to be doing that uh this week coming up we're kind of just coming off the uh cricket uh card extravaganza <laughs> we had this whole two week long card extravaganza which had almost 40 different cards so if you missed anything definitely go back and check on the youtube channel there's a ton of really interesting uh cards that are all in Cricut Design Space. And guess what? They're all free for you if you are a Cricut Access member. All of my projects, just about all of my projects um, are free if you're a Cricut Access member. So that's what I, I tend to focus on because I want to show uh, folks how how much fun and what a good value having Cricut, uh, Cricut Access is. It is um, it is not something you have to sign up for, but for me, it's a, it's a super value. There's like 185,000 images and then there's all kinds of fonts and then there's discounts and stuff. So for me, it's worth it. 
And um, I think if you talk to some of the other people that are crafting every day, and we craft every day, <laughs> um, we, uh, we've really gotten our money's worth out of our Cricut access. Um, and, uh, oh, I also, I see Bren's on, so I wanted to just laugh and say hello to Bren because she created a little plaque, um, and it had all of the little sayings <laughs> that, that I use on the daily show. So I really appreciated that, Bren, and I shared it on my personal page, uh, this morning. I really, really loved it. Thank you so much. So let's get get jump right in hi Teresa let's jump right in hi Aledra um and to say hello and welcome it's Sunday and this is a uh, cricket chat brunch edition we're going to be working with the joy and we're going to also be talking about the brand new Cricut mug press maybe you haven't even had a chance to see it so I want to just kind of go over what it does and really step by step because I think uh, everybody's sort of seen it but hasn't had a chance to really see the steps you would take it's very easy and it's a perfect complement to the joy I find because well first it's 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 not so overwhelmingly big or ha you don't have a machine that's overwhelmingly big. You can work in front of you, you know. Um, and I just mentioned that the mug press is released on March 11th. And um, you can buy it on Cricut.com. There are going to be bundles. Uh, so they'll be bundling things in such as um, the, the mugs themselves. Um, and and uh, there'll be other things like uh, infusible ink. So the mug press only works with infusible ink. Um, so if you're somebody that likes to do iron-on or HTV, this is not um, going to work, okay? But infusible ink is really fun, and I've been playing with it uh, for a couple of days now. Again, I know that we've done a few things here, but I wanted to show you a couple of things that that I've done. So um, I really like this, and my sister's a big cat fan. So um, I cut this out. It says feline great, and I loved the fact that, that I had it this way, and then also I decided I wanted to do it on the transfer paper tr this is a transfer sheet and use the pen and I actually did it in two size pens just so you could see how it would look um and I hope I have enough um I hope I have enough mugs to do all of these or um but here is another one that that I cut out that is all pre-made okay so all of these were pre-made um here's another one that I wanted to show you <coughs> how to find them and then how to cut them and uh then uh, how to press them so today we're going to be doing uh our work on the iPad. You do not need to use an iPad to work the joy. You can also use a laptop or even a desktop computer. Um, but I like to use the iPad because it makes it very simple to show you. Um, so uh, if you have a new iPad, you can download the app in the App Store, um, in the Apple App Store, okay? Um, and then you just download it, open it up. It's a little different than the desktop, but pretty much everything is the same. Like there, there are a few features that, that don't work on the um, iPad, but um, for the most part, everything does work and it works really well with, um, with the Joy as well. So, Let's start off from scratch, and um, when we log into Design Space, you'll notice now when you go into Design Space, um, you'll notice if you just scroll a little bit that there are a number of pre-made mugs that you can just hit, um, hit 
press on that and just go ahead, customize it, and then cut it out. So there's some things that are pre-made for you. Um, and obviously, you may want to change the name here, Miss Rodriguez. Um, and it will show you this is uh, the setup that it shows you. So here, this layer, which is kind of like it's just an adjustment layer to kind of show you that there are three points that they want you to focus on. So when you think about a cup or a mug, it's going to have like I would say I would call it maybe three sides so there's when you're holding it there's the side on this side there's the side facing you and then there's actually this middle piece and so you can decide to to use the entire mug um, if you want to and um, they have designs for that hi Susan they have designs for that um, or you can just use the smaller part um, of the front and back. So here's one that I did with a monogram. And um, I think that came out really nice, but there's nothing here, you see. So, um, so it depends on what you want to create. And there's a lot of opportunity for you to go and, um, and just create your own things. But there's a lot of opportunity to just uh, start from their pre-made things. So in this case, I want to pull up, I'm going to pull up one that's pre-made. I actually had it on my screen before. There's this um, ocean mug. And so when I hit that, you'll see it's actually two different mugs. And when I, I can either hit make it and I am going to choose um, on the mat because infusible ink is done on the mat and so it sets up my mat for me and it says that I need a long mat and I'm going to it's infusible ink so we're going to mirror we always mirror for iron on and infusible ink is a type of iron on so we are going to mirror that just get in the habit of doing that and um, what I will point out here is that this one it really takes up the entire mug surface okay um and this one probably you could put something up in here but we won't do that to start off with I just wanted to just kind of show you so this is the way that it looks now mirroring doesn't really matter but I just want you to get into the habit of it because um when it does matter it will make a huge difference if you cut it out okay um so then you would hit continue and you would choose your material. So here, this is the joy. So you can choose the, from the favorites. You can choose, those are my favorites. You can choose from popular or you can go to all materials, which is what I'm going to do because I just want you to see. Um, infusible ink is, is infusible ink transfer sheet. It's under iron on. Okay. So here we have this. And all I need to do is prepare my um, mat to, to get it going into my, um, my joy. Okay. So here is a, a long mat for the Cricut Joy. Um, I did have somebody ask me a couple of times um, if I would explain about um Resticking mats. So, um, Cricut Joy mats are uh, very similar to Cricut Maker or or the larger mats, I should say. Um, eventually, they lose a bit of their stick. So, you can restick your mats um, by first of all keeping them clean. And when you're working with paper, which I do a lot, um, I. I often have to wash them. So you can wash them with hot soapy water. And if after that they still don't feel that sticky, this one feels pretty sticky to me, you can use um, something like this. This is called Zig Memory System 2-Way Glue. And um, you have to get the 2-Way Glue because what you're going to do is you're going to spread this on your mat a little bit. Um, and you're just going to, you know, just put it on here and it comes off as a blue. It's hard to see on the, on the green mat, but it comes off in the blue and you're going to let it dry. And once you let it dry, um, it becomes sticky again, 
you see that? So, um, so that's what I do to keep my mats. Eventually, you do have to replace mats. It's kind of the nature of the game with, um, with Cricket Joy, or I'm sorry, with any Cricket machine, is that the mats are not going to last forever. But you can extend the wear by, um, by using this method. Again, this is called Zig Memory System Two Way Glue. It has a uh, a chisel tip and it goes on blue if you allow it to dry before you put something on there it will give you that two-way repositionable glue stick that you're used to when you're working with um with uh the uh, mats okay so um let's talk about the material that you're going to use um on on infusible ink and I know there are questions about the mugs and I will tell you um I tell you about them in a minute okay but so the material you're going to use is infusible ink now if you've never worked with infusible ink before I think you're in for a real treat um it comes in these large boxes and it comes in these smaller boxes and I want to point out that I noticed that some of the newer boxes actually say ideal for Cricut mug press so I was pretty excited to see that so this is ideal for Cricut mug press because they are two sheets that are um, four and a half by 12 inches long. So this one, I already used some of it, so it's not 12, but here is one, it's 12 inches. This is a, an infusible ink transfer sheet. Now it's the same thing in these, however, the the um the ink is or the transfer sheets are 12 inches wide by 12 inches long so depending on what box you got if you got a two pack or four pack um you can tell on from the outside of the box but you'll get two or four of this type of thing and then for using in the joy you'll have to cut it down um the name of the glue is called Zig Memory System Two-Way Glue. It's a blue um, chisel tip. You can get it at Amazon or even Michaels has them. Um, okay, so the, the transfer sheets can be used, these larger ones. So if you have some transfer sheets you haven't used and you want to use it in your joy, all you'll need to do is to cut at four and a half inches um, before putting it on your mat. But that's what these smaller boxes have done. They are, uh, they're already cut at the four and a half inches. So I'm going to use this one to just kind of show you. Um, what I will mention is that the new uh infusible ink the smaller boxes that say ideal for the Cricut mug press do not include butcher paper because they found that you don't need butcher paper in the mug press you um you don't need to use the butcher paper like you would normally use um uh, for a shirt you normally would use that butcher paper but you don't need to use it in the mug press unless you are using infusible ink pens and we'll get to that in a second okay so here's my mat and I am going to take and put this is the ink side this is the shiny side I'm going to put it on my mat because this is not a smart material okay um, only the smart materials go in without a mat so here it is on my mat and I I should be pressing it all the way down because it's lifting up so I have to just move over here and press it down really really well so that you can see that it's stuck on my mat now if you really um, have an issue with it lifting because it is rolled you can always use a little tiny bit of tape up here um, and actually I've used washi tape but this is uh, heat resistant tape um, so I'm just going to put a little tiny bit up there at the top so that it doesn't wiggle around and squirm on me. Now you'll see here that my Joy is already blinking because it's ready to start cutting out my design. So we're going to cut out the design. Let's cut out this one here first. And that is the like tentacles. Um, and that should be a lot of fun. Whoops. Now see... I really need to get a brayer in here. Um, I gotta find my brayer, but to get my my infusible ink right on the mat. 
All right, here we go. All right, so here is ready. And um, you'll see that I already have in there my um, housing and my blade. That's my housing and my blade inside of the Joy. And all I need to do is uh, feed it into the Joy. And it's going to check to see if the mat is aligned and also to make sure I have enough product or enough um, material in there. I'm a little concerned that it's lifting. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll use a different mat because I'm not sure that I actually glued that mat. So what I'm going to do, if you have that problem, you can unload it and use a different mat. So here's a different mat that is a, a lot stickier. So I wanna put it on that one. Here we go. Oh yeah, much better. It's really sticking on there really well. So I'm going to, again, load it underneath these little guides here. Um, the press comes out on the 11th, which is Thursday next week, Thursday next week. All right, so now it's get it's ready. I just need to tell it that um, I need to tell it it to go. And here I can choose different things, such as I could change my material if I needed to. I can add more pressure if I wanted to. If I was afraid it wasn't going to cut all the way through, but I have a brand new blade in there, so I'm not going to change the pressure. And I'm just going to hit go, and you will see it start to cut out um and and then while it's cutting out i can talk to you about the mugs um and also infusible ink pens so um as with every thank you kathy as with everything that's cricket okay um they have to test and i am amazed at the amount of testing that gets done by Cricut before they launch a new product. I mean, they do it to death. They they test it to death. So when they came out with Infusible Ink, they did come out with their own shirts back, this was two years ago, I think. They came out with their own shirts and a lot of people said, well, do I have to use your shirts? Maybe I don't want to use your shirts. And at first they wanted people to use the, sh the uh, their shirts because they wanted them to have the same experience right um but after time has gone on they realized that people were going to use other shirts that they found and so they encourage people you know as long as it was a high polyester count shirt they could use infusible ink on that a, a high cotton count shirt is not going to work very well with um infusible ink because it it's a gas and it needs to like connect with the um polyester fibers when you're doing it on a shirt now they also came out with like um a few other things like coasters and they had those ceramic coasters and this is the same sort of thing this is a sublimation ready blank so you do not need to buy cricket mugs okay however they will have cricket mugs available and they are going to have a couple of different styles and they're going to have them competitively priced and also in like large quantities i think they even are going to sell them in in like groups of 36 um so you'll be surprised i think with the price um this happens to be the smaller of the two um of the smaller of the two mugs it's 12 ounces yeah it's 12 ounces and this box of two is going to run retail price 6.99 so um so for two you figure that's 350 for a mug um and i think that that's pretty reasonable however you can certainly go on to amazon or your favorite place to buy sublimation blanks and as long as you you know that it is a sublimation blank and that it has a straight wall you can buy it for the um for the mug press now someone asked me about something that didn't have a handle like a tumbler um but you could do that but the way that this works is when you get done 
uh, and I'm going to turn mine on. But when you get done with it, to take it out of the machine, this handle is not hot. Okay, this handle is not hot, and that's how you can take it out of the machine without burning yourself. So I don't know how you would sort of do that with something that has no handle on it. But as long as it's um, okay for sublimation, then you can use it. So if you're concerned about, you know, not having uh, mugs that are perfect for what you're trying to achieve. No, you can buy uh, sublimation blanks. Now, you won't be able to go to the dollar store and just buy uh, $1 mugs because uh, it, and expect it to work. I mean, you might get it to work somewhat, and there's all kinds of experimentation that you can do. But the point being um is that this is tested on their own product because they wanted to make sure the excellent um results but you can try other other um products and you will get good results from those um so nothing to you know nothing to be concerned about okay so our cut is done and i am going to let unload it so i'm going to unload it here Okay, so here it is. Let me just put it aside, put my um, joy aside. So I'm going to just take it off of my mat. First of all, when you're taking things off of your mat, including infusible ink, you need to do it from, um, from the back, making sure you curl off the mat and not the actual um, cut because it will ruin this part of your actual cut okay so do that and then you'll see that what it's actually done is it cut through around these edges which is great um it's cut through around the edges so i'm going to just take that part off so here it is and i have to weed it now weeding it infusible ink is a little bit different than um, weeding iron-on or even vinyl. Um, you don't necessarily need to have a weeding tool, but what you do with infusible ink is you kind of roll it. So you kind of roll it like this and you'll see that it's a paper. Now, um, what I want to do here is I think that I'm going to leave I think I'm going to leave the tentacle part on and I'm going to take off the background here. So by by lifting up right here at this piece, I'm actually going to take off this part of the infusible ink. So I'm actually weeding around the tentacles and you will see that it's like a paper. So it's possible that you'll see some rip there, but that's okay. We can go back and, and, um, and get that piece before we go ahead and, um, press it on our mug. Okay. So here we are peeling off the extra infusible ink, just like this. I want to make sure I'm looking at this design well. I'm kind of looking through the camera. I'm not sure if this part comes. Yeah, I think it's this part that comes off. So let's see. All right. So you see how I'm, I'm just kind of peeling it away like this, but I want to make sure I'm peeling away the right part because I don't want to take away my my um, tentacle. I want to keep the tentacle there. So even in these small little bits, you can just sort of bend and use your fingers and just sort of peel out all of these little cuts right here. All right. So here we go. Now you just heard my mug press. It sounds just like the easy press. But the fun thing about the mug press is that there's no heat guide that you have to study before using it. And you don't have to worry about, did I do it for long? Um, because it does, the machine does all the work for you. Okay. So, um, so we're going to let it, and it also, let me just point out that this machine is 
so safety conscious where, you know, I know there are a lot of people that ha have been doing sublimation and they're like, I can get this cheaper. But if you look at some of those, um, those products that uh, people are saying they can get cheaper, even putting it in your oven, because I've heard people say, oh, well, I can put it in my oven. Um, the fumes and uh, the idea of how hot you have to make it. Um, I'm a baker by, you know, just by nature. And um, working with ovens that are 400 degrees can be uh, it, very dangerous. And I don't, A, want to have to make my craft be something that I'm, like, really uh, concerned about. And also, I don't want to have fumes. So putting it in my oven, I'm afraid that I would, A, I, I don't know, I don't want to mix food with, um, with my crafts because uh, it's just like when I did soap, when I used to make soap, I had my own separate kitchen for the soap and everything was separate because I didn't want to, you know, expose my family to all of the chemicals and stuff that you use to make soap. So it's the same sort of thought process for me anyway, um, with as far as like trying it out. Now, if you got these like mug wraps, I've seen mug wraps, and frankly, I think for me, I don't know, aesthetically, it's just not, I don't want to have that. I work in my home and I want to craft and I want when people come to my house and they see my craft studio, they don't say, whoa, you know, what do you got a big business going on there? That kind of thing. I want it to to look, you know, aesthetically pleasing. And that's one of the things I do like a lot about Cricut products is that they're beautiful. You know, you, you're, um, you know, can leave them out and it looks very nice. Um, okay. So it looks to me like I've gotten, pardon the dogs. It looks to me like I've gotten, um, most of this, most of this, peeled away, but I want to give it a couple of seconds. And then here, look, I have a little tiny bit that is like the paper part. So I'm just going to use my tweezers and lift that up and that looks okay. So that is done and my press is heated up. So what I need to do is, um, get myself a mug. Now this, there are two sizes of these mug wraps. That's what I don't know if they call it that. I think that's what I'm calling it anyway. So um, one that works well on the 12 ounce. This happens to be one that works on well on the 12 ounce mug. Um, but there's also one that's slightly larger that will work on the 15 ounce mug. So we need to get one of the 12 ounce mugs out. Now, um, what you're supposed to do, and I cannot believe I didn't, I didn't think of this, and so I hope it goes okay. Please be quiet, teddy bear. Um, everybody listening. Okay, so um, I'm supposed to uh, use a, a roller, but I forgot. I forgot my lint roller, so let's pretend that I did lint roll it, and that is an important step, okay? Um, I'm going to take my mug wrap, and remember, we've got, this is where the handle is, and actually the way that it cuts out, there's these little, like, tabs here. So we're going to, I'm going to move you down just a little bit lower just so you can see what I'm doing, but um, you, you were going to start pressing this along here and it might take a little bit for you to figure out how exactly you want it to get on the infusible ink the transfer sheet itself is a little sticky which is nice but you might want to um, consider using tape um, and there is this heat resistant tape here that is very useful. Um, it's especially useful, in my opinion, um, when you're doing like just a design like the monogram and you want to just put it onto your mug and you don't want to have this tape all, this like transfer sheet all the way through. Okay, so here I am and I'm, I'm positioning my um, 
my tape down at the bottom you see and up at the top really it's not like coming over the top at all except for right here just a little tiny bit now if I wanted to I could put a little bit of um, tape on there but I think this looks pretty good it's on there really really good so I'm going to um, move my mug press closer to me so you can see it all right now so the mug press has one button on it and a lever that's it there's nothing that you need to worry about as far as heat or uh, or timing or anything else it controls all the timing so this button is the one you press to heat it up and when it's green it's ready so I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to press down on this lever and then you'll see that there are these little dots right here there's five of them and those five dots will um will sort of get lit up as as it's going along it takes approximately four to six minutes to do a mug um and when it comes out it is very hot okay so here we have our mug ready to go in we're just going to put it right in here now we want to make sure that the entire design is going to be um enclosed in the wrap okay and so when we go to press down on here just make sure you're looking and making sure that your entire um design i don't know if you can see that but your entire design is actually within this little huggy part of the mug press okay because if it's not um if you try to make this uh the mug handle um uh it will it will uh not press that part you need that consistent heat with the infusible ink i'm taking out by the way my little um my little mat my little easy press mat that we use because when this comes out it's going to be very hot and that's something you should be concerned about if you're working on whatever you're working on i work on these uh these like sewing mat things from cricut and they will warp if it comes out and it's too hot okay so um just be aware of that now as far as using pens go the pens will work of course they'll work but they have to be um infusible ink pens so you can use black you can use whatever color i happen to have for the joy i happen to have what what ah. <laughs> okay, I happen to have all these different colors here and they all will work. Um, the, the Cricut pens come in two sizes. They come in a 0 0.4, so that's like thinner writing. So where's my example of that? Here we go. So I actually wrote on, I know this is kind of a no-no, but but I tried it and I love it. So I actually wrote on the transfer um, sheets and uh, it will it will show up that color, but also have the writing on it. This is the 0 0.4 millimeter and this is the 1.0, it's more of a marker, okay? So the for in order for the pens to work, you do need to use infusible ink pens and pens are available for, both for the Joy and for the other machines, okay? So um, you have to get the ones that fit your particular machine, and um, they come in a variety of colors, including a big pack of um, infusible ink, uh, color pack like all kinds of colors there um so so they will work they will also work this will also work on paper um like just hard uh, what do you call it um copy paper like a high quality copy paper or a laser paper um you can use this so this is a great kid friendly pro process so you can let your kids draw with the pens onto copy paper and then you would cut it to fit onto the mug teddy bear shh. you cut it to fit on the mug but when you are doing the 
depends. You do need to wrap the mug in butcher paper, okay? Because otherwise you might get some uh, bleed through on the inside of your mug press and that just won't look good. Um, and it's also, you know, could carry the design into something else. Uh, so that's something to be con con considering uh, there. So I just wanted to show you these three. This is the same um this is the same design, um, and it, this one here is the cutout of the cat. This one here is um, the transfer sheet with the cat written in 0 0.4, and this is the one with the cat written in 1.0, okay? Then I also have, um, just to kind of show you the different ones, there's this one, which I used a galaxy design, and then cut it out. These are all in design space, so easy to find. Um, there's this one, which I cut out in black. It doesn't look black, but when you put it on, it will look black. I did try to see if I could get colors in here, but um, I haven't figured that out yet. If somebody figures that out, let me know because I, I would love for like the roses or maybe one of the roses to be pink. And I think I have to slice them out of here so that I can, um, so that I can put that in there. I'm not really sure um, how that's going to work because this is fairly new to me, um, but it is something that can be done because I've seen people do it with, um, with the, uh, with infusible ink on a on a shirt so it can be done also on the um infusible ink with a pen or you know sli it's called slicing okay so um it's it's almost done i can see can you see it's almost got all five of the buttons and it's going to beep for us and when it beeps we're going to lift the lever and then we're going to take the mug out and let it rest to um to cool i'll try to um take it off before um and so but i don't want you to do that because i i don't want you to burn yourselves okay but i understand you know time is of the essence hey one other thing i should mention is that they also have these mugs that have colors look at this one this has gray in here i don't know what colors they're going to have them in but for right now i know they just they have this white on the outside gray on the inside so i think that's pretty awesome okay we heard it it's it's gone off so we're going to lift this lever just like that and that opens up the space in between so it's it's done hugging and we can hold it by the handle and lift it out just like that and let me just move it over so you can see. You can kind of see that it is it is already, you know, kind of it's worked. Um, and you, as I said, you really need to make sure that you um, allow it to, to um, for like 15 minutes or so, um, cool off 15 to 30 minutes. But here is, we're cheating here. A little bit okay what do you think now see here there's a little bit that <laughs> it's just a little piece of the infusible ink that did not come off I'm using my nail because it doesn't have any nerve endings in there so um, but you be careful all right there we go isn't that great so beautiful I mean I really like it. It's really good. And I made it, you know, it's, it, I made it and I'm pretty impressed with myself. I am not, um, like this kind of a crafter. Um, I am more of a paper crafter, as you guys know. And so for me, this to have this kind of result, pretty amazing. Let's do another one. Um, while we're here, I want to do the, feline one let's do this feline one that because I want to make it for my sister let's see we got another another mug here okay 
So again, this is going to be coming out on March 11th. So you'll see it in stores and you'll see it on Cricut.com March 11th. It only works with infusible ink or infusible ink pens and markers only works with those two products. However, if you are into sublimation, which I am not, but if you're into sublimation, you will be able to use your sublimated um, projects here on on this um, from what I understand. So I'm not into sublimation, so I can't really be an authority and explain that that is something that you can do. But I have heard that, yes, sublimation um, like sheets that you print from a sublimation printer will work um, in the mug press. Um, and let's see, the price is $199. Um, now one of the things, which is, it's steep. I gotta, you know, admit it's steep for, for quite a few people. Um, I, I'm sure, but it is, um, it is a pretty amazing thing. I mean, I think if I saw this and wasn't, you know, somebody that was able to get it ahead of time, I might say, well, I might wait. But once you make the first one, it you feel almost giddy, like you you have really made it like this amazing thing. So um, I'm going to actually look, I have, this is, um, this is actually the smaller of the two, this feline great one, but it kind of like I want to see how this is going to look on here with a little edge at the top and bottom. So um, that's what I'm going to do. But I need to use my tape, my heat resistant tape to hold it in place because the stick, there's really not a lot of stick exposed here. So I'm going to take my heat resistant tape and I'm just going to take a few pieces of it so that it is going to really stick on here just like that you see and I want to make sure that I put it so that it is even top and bottom right so here we go top and bottom there we go all right it didn't cut the edge off it didn't cut the edge off. Oh, here. Um, yeah, I could cut that off. What do you think? I was going to leave that um, on, but maybe I should cut that off. All right. Thank you. I think I will do that. Um, okay. So let's take that off. And what somebody, I think Dawn is saying that maybe you want to cut this edge off and I can do that. I can just lift it up like this. You see? And I'm just gonna take my scissors and try to do it as evenly as possible. Just like that. Might wanna come back and do it a little bit better. That part looks good. Let me just do this over here. Okay, right? So I'm putting, just to, to note, I'm putting the design part onto the mug that's why we have to put it on um mirror so see how it's mirrored here so when i go to put it on the machine on the mug um it will be correctly sized or the correct side showing on the at the end of the mug okay so I'm just putting my piece on here. Now I know I'm using a, the bigger of the two mugs. This one's a 15 ounce mug, but I kind of want to see how that will look. And you know, this is cricket land. We do whatever we want, <laughs> you know, we can try out. Now this I know is not something that, you know, that when we first came out with infusible ink, they said, oh, don't, don't use, um, don't use the pens on, um, on the transfer sheets but then I said oh what the heck I'm gonna try it and I did and I really liked the results so that's you know trial and error and the fun of crafting too okay so here we go we're gonna put it into here now this is the larger of the two I gotta get my fingers out right it's all heated up and then I'm just going to press it 
down. Now see, I can see part of my design peeking out. So I'm gonna see if maybe, yeah, I lift it up. There we go. Okay, so now my whole design is within the walls, okay? And this has gotten um, cool enough to touch. So this is just so you can see, this is how um, how it, it ends up. And it is 100% dishwasher safe, 100% microwave safe, completely safe. So if I put my lips on here, I'm not going to get any toxic uh, you know, chemicals or anything like that. And the, um, the image is literally inside that mug. It is not coming off. I can wash it to my heart's content. There's nothing that's going to, um, ruin this mug unless maybe you break it, you know, but, um, but it is not going, which is a huge difference from folks that have been making mugs with, um, either, vinyl or with iron-on. I've seen some people do iron-on on their mugs and they have to say to people, do not put it in the, uh, if they give it away as a gift, don't put it in the microwave, don't put it in the dishwasher, be careful when you're washing it, don't use anything too scrubby on it. This, you could scrub to your heart's content and nothing is going to come off. Isn't that fabulous? So nice. Um, so again, it comes out on Thursday. That's March 11th. Um, you do need to use infusible ink. You can use your infusible ink, the larger sheets if you want, but you just have to cut it down. Um, you can use any machine, including the Joy with it. Uh, there are two size mugs. There's a 15 ounce mug, which is the one we have in there now. And there's a 12 ounce mug and they do, they are going to come in packages. So you can, buy, you know, two at a time, four at a time. And then I think they have packs of like 36. Um, and let's see what else is, is to tell you. Um, I think that's it makes a really good gift, uh, and great in time for all of our March and April birthdays, I think. Um, and this is really fun. It's fun. Uh, I mean, I'm like, I'm tickled, you know, that it, it came out like this. I'm like, I made this and I can only, I'm just getting started is the point that I'm trying to make is that I think we're going to end up with some pretty interesting mugs at my house, probably ones with corgis on them for sure. But, um, uh, you know, my son has always been like, can you make me a mug? And up until now, I'm like, no, I, you know, I, I, I don't really want to do it that way. But, um, but I am definitely going to make him a mug with this. He has all these little, you know, games that he plays and stuff like that. Um, so it just, I don't know. I'm, you guys know me. If you've been watching me for a while, you know, I'm genuinely giddy about this because it really is quite an amazing thing. And remember, you know, you can be as creative as you want. Look at, there's a monogram. Here is one that is done on the transfer sheets with the pen. Um, I did another one. Let's do, let me get to these two. Um, this one here was the one I first made when we were just learning this. It says, I can't, I'm crafting today. And I think I would have put it on the other side if I, if I had known, but I didn't. And I created this from a graphic from Cricut Design Space and the mug, it's like a mug wrap. This one here is one that I just simply cut out in the galaxy paper, it came out really really good. I think I really love it. I know my son's going to love this one too. So, um, maybe, you know, maybe when you first, at first blush, you look at the cost and everything, but I, I think now, now that I know how to do this, I can create mugs for all occasions and everybody I know drinks coffee. So I can think of a gazillion people to make mugs for, for birthdays. Um, yeah, the galaxy, this is a galaxy paper. I don't have the box here with me, but yeah, the stars and the moon and this actually the sun came out so beautiful. Um, okay, so I am a Cricut product expert. Someone's asking me, um, 
What do I do with all the things that I create and how did I get it sooner? So I'm a Cricut product expert, which means um, I work with Cricut. I am not a Cricut employee, but I work with Cricut and they allow for us to um, to learn about and to demonstrate brand new products like this. And also if you're a fan of the mystery boxes, the mystery boxes are something that the product experts um, are in charge of. It doesn't mean that we're um, employees and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're an affiliate, although a lot of us are affiliates. So um, that's how I got it. What do I do with um, what do I do with all the stuff I make? I give most everything away. Um, I have I'm very involved in local government here, and we have a, a bustling senior center. And so my senior friends all get all my cards, um, and they actually have a card like a card uh, exchange that that. Um, that they get. Okay, so my my um my mug press told me it's done. I'm going to lift it out. It's very very hot, but I can see just looking around it that I can see real up close there that that ink has really gotten onto the mug. And again, I don't want you to do this, but if you can manage uh, or if you can manage to wait, I just want to show you because I know time's of the essence. So I'm using my my tweezers to kind of pull off the... Come on. Oh, there we go. <gasps> there we go. Oh, 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 wow. Look at that. Yeah, we did the um we did the cutout. Look at it. Oh my god. Yeah, we did this on the joy. I cut these out on the joy. Yes, I will be careful. But oh my god, look at it. Isn't it great? I love it. My sister is going to go mad for this. She's a huge cat fan. And I'm sorry, but does the, do these not look professional? Like these are pro mugs. These are not rinky dink things that you that you make and you sort of like, yeah, I made it. I mean, I made this and it's so fabulous. I just love it. So cute. Um, oh, nice to join. Nice to see you, Sarah. So that is today. Yeah, very vibrant. And this color, I'm not sure what this color was. I'm trying to find out where I put that box. Maybe it's this one might be this one but there's so many to choose from so many colors to choose from and just so many designs already in design space that if you wanted to even just cut some of these out now you could um and if you're planning on getting the uh the the mug press you can have them all ready for when it arrives at your doorstep um these are all cricket mugs yes but you do not need to use um cricket mugs if you have sublimation um ready mugs they have to be sublimation ready blanks or mugs or whatever um in order for it to work um, and they have suggested that they're that they are flat, um, flat walled. I think I'm not really sure. I don't know. Um, I don't know about the about sublimation, but I do know that yeah, you, you can use other than what Cricut has given you. And I'm only using Cricut ones because I've never done this before. And so for me, I was like, this is all new. It's kind of a game changer. So um, I hope that you know you consider it and and um, consider buying this. I know we'll do some more projects with that. Um, going forward, I do want to point out that if you leave your machine on, it will actually turn itself off, kind of like an iron. Um, it will turn itself off um, if if given enough time. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like 10 minutes. So you don't have to worry. And it's not hot. It, I mean, it's a little warm, but it's not hot except on the inside where you're not to touch it. So, you know, even if you're working with a little, um, you don't have to, um, you don't have to, uh, 
worry that someone's going to get hurt from it. Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you for coming today. Um, and I hope that I will see you tomorrow on Cricket Chat. Um, let's see, tomorrow's Monday. So that means mystery material. And we are actually going to go back and do some foiling tomorrow because I feel like we didn't do enough of that. And so some people received foil kits for Christmas and I want to show them how um, to use them. We'll be using my maker to do that. And we're going to make some foil gift tags. Um, and then throughout the week, we have a number of really great Easter crafts um, and St. Patrick's Day crafts, as well as cards for St. Patrick's Day and Easter. So we're going to try to stuff more cards in there. And I hope um, I hope to see you or see you on YouTube. And make sure you say hi, because um, I love to chat with people. And I'm always open to making a new friend and we've got a great group of people here okay everyone that's it we'll see you tomorrow take care of yourselves okay bye thanks Anna Maria